I'd like to continue with this idea of the uh, component versus object mode. So I'm going to create a ground. So to do that, I'm going to go to create polygon primitives plane. And I can see that the plane is very small at the center of the grid. But if I go to my scale and if I scale it from the center, I'll make it super big. Okay, great. Now, I can see that these, these divisions on this, and maybe this time I only want to work with my perspective window. So I could tap the space bar, and now I can see it in my perspective view here. Okay, now I can see that there's these divisions or these lines across here. And if I go to polygon plane on the inputs, I can click on this, similar to like what we did with the fence post. But on the subdivision height and width, I'm going to click on both of those and type in 30. And you can see that now I have a significantly more uh, number of divisions or polygons. Okay, each one of these faces is what's called a polygon. And like I was saying before, if I right click and go to vertex, I can grab a point and I can move this up or down or I could I could drag select like this and I could grab multiple ones, okay? Um, so this is what's called component mode. I can also grab edges and I can move those or I could grab multiple edges and kind of move them like that. Um, or I could drag over a lot of edges and move it like this, okay? Now I want to make that look like kind of like rolling hills of snow or just kind of some snow. So I'm going to right click, go to vertex. And if I select one vertex and move it up and down, it seems kind of weird. Okay. But if I press B as in brush, it will toggle soft select mode. And if I hold down B as in brush and middle mouse click and drag to the right, it's going to create this kind of this heat map, if you will. And where it's yellow, it's going to have most effect and it's going to have a soft selection kind of fall off. So if I kind of bring it up like this, and now I can click on another vertex and I can move it up like this. And I can kind of go like this around the scene. And I'm making this look like it's more like, I don't know, snow kind of piled up around my scene. I could even click and drag over multiple vertices. And that's just going to kind of increase where that influence is. So I'm going to kind of go like this. I'm going to kind of leave the yard flat. Okay. I'm just going to kind of do this around the scene. Okay, great. Maybe in here, just to make it look a little, a little bit more natural, maybe I do a few in here. I just don't want it to look like it's totally flat ground. Okay, that's good. And if I needed to make an edit to anything else, remember I could go in and I could, let's say if I selected, right click, go to object mode. And now if I select this fence post, I could right click, go to vertex, and I could still grab this. But to get out of soft select, I could press B as in boy. And now you can see that I could move these individually. Okay. That idea of this uh, going between object mode and component mode is going to be a very important concept that we're going to use throughout our time in Maya quite a bit. So I feel like I want to make sure that we're starting to get comfortable with that idea. So this ground plane here, I'm just going to go ahead and name this ground. And you can see that we're really getting a, a good start here. So I'll continue once again in the next lesson.